we present our work entitled Playable Environments – Video Manipulation in Space and Time. Video manipulation is a challenging task with many real-world applications. Let's take the last tennis match that you saw, such as this one. Do you want to change anything? For example, should the player move to the left? Right? Or advance to the net? Perhaps you also want to move the camera with your keyboard and you would like to change the style of the field and the player. Such environments allow for simple and intuitive manipulation, similar to the one offered by a video game. Therefore, we call them playable environments. In this work, we propose a method to construct such a playable environment that presents six core characteristics. The user can control the players using a keyboard or gamepad, as in a video game. Multiple objects can be independently controlled. The model can handle deforming objects, such as humans. The camera can be controlled explicitly. The style of each object can be manipulated explicitly. The model is robust to camera calibration and localization errors. Our method is the first to support this wide set of manipulations. Previous work typically support a restricted subset of this manipulation. Novel view synthesis methods typically support changing camera and style, but do not support user interaction. Video synthesis methods manipulate or play videos, but typically lack camera control and multi-object support. Let's now take a look at the proposed framework. Our framework is trained on a dataset of calibrated monocular videos with bounding box annotations for each object. We propose a framework trained as a two-stage pipeline. The first stage of the pipeline consists of two modules. An encoder E extracts an environment state for each object in the scene. Successively, a synthesis module reconstructs an image from the encoded state conditioned on a camera pose. Let's now look at it in more detail. We find nerve to be a natural choice and model the scene as a composition of radiance fields, one for each object. We adopt an MLP V to represent the object in a canonical pose and an MLP B to deform the canonical value into the desired object pose. To reduce computation, our method regresses a grid of features which a feature renderer F transforms into the final image. Once the first stage of the pipeline is trained, in the second stage we train the action module. The action module learns to model state dynamics by reconstructing sequences of states conditioned on a set of learned actions. Specifically, given two successive environment states, an action network infers a discrete action representation and a recurrent network model as an LSTM is trained to reconstruct the environment state. At inference time, the action network is removed and actions are directly provided by the user. We now show some sequences interactively produced by a user with our framework. At each step, the user provides a discrete action for each player highlighted in the top corners. Our framework can generate long video sequences that exceed the 3 minutes in duration. We find that our method can learn a wide set of actions describing the principal movement directions of the players, which gives the user a granular control over the generation process. During the rendering step, the user can take control of the camera and specify an arbitrary camera pose from which to render the video sequence. We also find that it's possible to manipulate the appearance of each object. We take a video sequence in the first column, providing the content. Then, we consider several style videos in the first row. Our method can control the style of the video sequences to obtain the desired appearance of the scene. To foster future research in the construction of playable environments, we introduce two large-scale datasets with camera calibration and bounding boxes. The first is the Minecraft dataset. It consists in one hour of sequences captured at both day and night with different player identities. The second is the tennis dataset, which consists in 12 hours of videos showing different types of tennis fields and tens of different players. To know more details, read our paper, visit our project website and run our code.